Here's a marinade swordfish recipe. Make sure you stick around to the end. I'll show you the easiest way to remove the skin of the swordfish. We're going to start off with one tablespoon of onions and we're going to mince it up. We're going to place it in the bowl. Then we're going to take one tablespoon of scallions and we're going to mince those up as well. And we'll place them in the bowl. Then we're going to take one tablespoon of parsley. We're going to mince it up, put it in the bowl. And we'll take one clove of roasted garlic. We'll chop it up and put it in the bowl. Then we're going to take one teaspoon of ground ginger, half a tablespoon of spicy brown mustard, and half a cup of soy sauce. And we'll mix it together. And we'll add in one tablespoon of kosher salt. Put in some cracked black pepper. And we'll put in one teaspoon of sesame oil and one cup of olive oil. And we'll mix it together. And you can optional add Texas Pete pepper sauce. If you don't have Texas Pete, you can always use Tabasco sauce. Just a few drops. Then we're going to put in one to two pounds of swordfish. And we'll turn the swordfish, make sure that we fully cover it. Put some plastic wrap over the top and we'll put it in the refrigerator for 30 minutes to an hour. Once we're ready to cook it, we'll heat up a skillet, pan spray it, and we can cook it on the skillet. Or if you want better grill marks, we'll cook it on the grill. We'll heat up the grill, but watch out, there's a lot of oil, could flame up. If it does, just close the lid, that'll put the fire out. And then when it's time to flip it, you can just pick it up and flip it over with tongs. And once it's cooked a little bit, then we're going to flip it some more using the tongs again. We'll pick it up, we'll twist our wrist, and we'll turn it. That way we get the nice diamond marks. And then this time, the fish has been cooking a while, so we're going to use a spatula. Not from the front, from the back, and slide it. And then we'll flip it, turn the fish so we get the nice diamond marks, and let it cook some more. Then... When it's done, we're going to use tongs, and we're just going to grip the skin of the swordfish right here. And we're just going to give it a little wiggle, and the skin should come right off. That's how you know it's done. Easiest way to remove the skin from swordfish. Then we'll use spatula, scoop from the back, move it to the plate, and it's done. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did and you learned something new, please subscribe to my channel. It'll keep you up to date on all my future videos. It's free to do so. You won't get any junk emails. It'll just make it easier for you to find my channel when you're on YouTube. And leave a comment on what you liked or what you didn't like or how you would have cooked the swordfish differently. Well, thanks again.